Hello guys, so this is the last video of the series of my pictures for my university project and the project was to do three illustrations based on a short story and the short story that I chose was The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. If you watched the other two videos that I did on this then you should know the story. <laughs> because I explained it in the first video and the second video I explained more so about the picture. This one actually I'm going to explain about the process to this one because there's more of a process involved with this picture than there was in the last two. Now the last two I actually came up with together. I came up with both of those pictures in the same drawing session so it was really really easy. I always do this to myself and I always draw two out of three designs that I have to do and I've done it before with other projects and it really does suck trying to come up with the last one because you really want it to be good but at the same time you really want it to match. So I'm going to try in the future to try and get all three design concepts come came up with in the same drawing session but since it's one of those times where I had to try and make up a third concept out of nothing I decided to actually spend time trying to think about this one. Now all the concepts that I came up with in my sketchbook over the seven pages, yes there were seven, there were so many pages and this particular sketch like the the draft for this piece of artwork was on the seventh page and I actually decided to draft while I was watching several streams so I watched Genius Creations and Sammy Draws stuff I think and it was a Saturday so it was my stream day and I was gonna stream it at beginning at like six in the evening but <laughs> That completely, completely went down the toilet as a plan because as soon as I was finished sketching out the draft for this picture, it was half six and I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> I haven't got time to actually start my stream. So I ended up starting at like nine and that that's that. <laughs> So you can see that in this one I actually used a wooden frame, like a little a little frame, and I made it into a mirror. So I did like a, the reflection of a head inside of the frame. I, I like the way it came out, I think it looks really cool because I didn't know where to put it at first, I didn't think it was important enough. and. To be honest, I kind of wish that I would have turned the frame around so it would just be a plain frame because on one side it has the pattern, on the other side it's just the plain wood. So I might actually do that because I only stuck it down with um, glue stick. So I could I could remove it and re-stick it, I don't, I don't know though. Also there is an update about my social media. People have been asking me about where do I post my artwork and also my different social medias. Now my social media, I really want to start getting into using Twitter again. And this is coming from somebody who created her Twitter last June for this channel and I haven't used it since like two days after I created it. It was so stupid and I don't know why and the only thing that was on there was the fact that every time I post a YouTube video like people can like that tweet because it's actually a tweet that gets automatically posted. So it looks like I'm active even though I'm not and I'm gonna try and be more active on Twitter throughout my university life, maybe even some photos <laughs> around uni, maybe? I don't know. It really depends because I think Twitter and Instagram will be really, really helpful while I'm at uni. 
Obviously, I love YouTube and YouTube is my main social media. So yeah, I'm going to be using those. I do have a Facebook page, but I don't really use it that often. I don't think I've updated it in two... <laughs> it might have been last year or the year before that I used it. I can't remember, honestly. And the one thing I do actually regret is spreading myself just a little bit too thinly with social media. I just wish I didn't do that with myself and sometimes, sometimes you do things that you don't, <laughs> you just regret. <laughs> and spreading myself too thin on social media is definitely one of those things I do regret. My DeviantArt I don't really use anymore. I do post the odd picture and as for the place where I post my artwork, now you could say that I would post it on DeviantArt but there have been a couple of stories about artists work being used without their permission on DeviantArt and I don't even want to deal with the hassle of, of that happening so just to prevent any any kind of situation like that to arise. I doubt it ever will with my work, but you never know. So I'm just gonna steer clear of DeviantArt. I will be posting the odd few pictures though. Now, <laughs> I do post my pictures to my website gallery if you wanna have a look. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Links to my gallery are in the description. <laughs> Bye.